Flux One brings a huge revolution to the text-to-image generator industry. Its capability to generate hyper-realistic images is just insane. Now you can even create consistent characters with Flux. So, now you can create your very own AI influencer and make money online. In this video, I will share the method of generating an influencer model and creating consistent character images with Flux One. So, without further ado, let's dive in. Flux is an open source image generation model. You can use it for free if you install it locally and no comfy UI or any UI. Another way is to use it online. Today, I will use it online. To do that, I will use one of the biggest image generation model hubs and image generation platforms called Shocker AI. I will put the link in the description. Just head over there and create an account. Once the account is ready, find your preferred model to generate the image. To find the perfect one, we can use the filter. First of all, the model type. I will select only the checkpoint model. We can select the LoRa model later. As we want to generate images using the Flux model, I am selecting a Flux model from here. Once you're on this page, click on the Run button, and this is our image generation interface. We already made a video on basic image generation using SD3 with Shocker AI. The process is pretty much the same. So, I won't deep dive into basic image generation. If you haven't watched the video yet, watch it from the I button. All right, let's have a quick recap. Here in this prompt box, we have to enter the prompt. I am entering a ready prompt. You can access the prompt along with an additional 100 prompts from our Telegram channel. After entering the prompt, come to the settings from here. Now you can add LoRa, a reference image, image size, image count, and other advanced settings. Give proper time here. Once everything is set, hit the generate button and then wait some time, as it will take a little while to generate the images. All right, these are the generated images. They are just awesome. Now you can customize the images. From here we already talked about these features in the previous video, so I am skipping this time. Okay, now select one of the images from your model and download it by clicking here. If you already have a model image, you can skip the previous step. Now, if we create an image with another prompt, the face might not match. So, I will use this image as the base or reference image. Alright, our first image is ready. Now let's move forward to the consistent character image creation. To create consistent character images with Flux AI, we have to use a comfy UI workflow. Don't worry, you don't need to be an expert in UI or need a GPU on your PC because again, I will use a ready workflow on Shocker AI. To do so, come to the Shocker AI homepage. Here at the top of the page, you will find the search bar. Just type Flux Face Swap and hit the search button. After getting the search result, come to the Workflow tab. Here you can notice the comfy org flux workflow in the first result. Your search results may vary. However, we have to use this one. After coming to this page, simply click on the run model button and you will be redirected to the comfy UI workflow. Now, first of all, we have to choose the checkpoint model from this node. Next, the prompt node. Here, enter a prompt to generate a new image. After that, this is the negative prompt box. Here, enter what you don't want in your image. This is the empty latent image node. Here, you can set the image size and batch size, meaning how many images you want to generate. Next, in the KS sampler node, you can set the seed number, sampler steps, CFG scales, and other advanced settings. After that, in the load image node, we have to upload the reference image. Here, I will upload the image I created earlier. Next, you will find the face swap and upscaler nodes. I won't customize anything here. Once everything is set, hit the generate button. There is a catch. Here you can see an error. Actually, Flux is not compatible with this workflow. Don't worry, we can fix this. To do so, right click on the workflow and select the add node option. You will find various nodes here. Just find the loader option and then select the checkpoint loader NF4. This checkpoint loader is integrated with the Flux NF4 model. Now we have to connect the loader with other elements. Simply, copy the previous loader option. For example, the prompt node clip is connected with the previous checkpoint loader. Just drag the NF4 clip point to the prompt clip point. As you can see, the clip is now connected and the previous one has been disconnected. In this same method, replace all the connections with the new one. Once you are done, remove the old checkpoint loader. 
Now hit the Generate button again. It will take some time to generate the images. And here it is. Our images are ready. At the bottom of the workflow, you can see three images. They are the same images, just enhanced with AI. All right, now let's try with another prompt and the same face image. After entering the prompt, hit the Generate button. And here are the newly generated images. You can see the image's environment, dress up, and even the compositions are different, but the face is exactly the same as the reference image. So, now, in the same method, you can create unlimited consistent character images. To find all the generated images, come to the Gallery tab from here, and you will find all the images. Now download the selected images. Alright, not only consistent characters, but you can do so much more on Shocker AI. For example, with this workflow, you can change the dress of your model. With this workflow, you can customize the style of any image. In conclusion, Flux AI is now one of the best ways to create your AI influencer, and Shacker AI is one of the best platforms to use Flux AI. Not only Flux, you can use any kind of image generation model on Shocker AI, and most importantly, Shacker AI will give you 400 free credits every day. So, don't forget to try Flux AI on Sh Shocker AI. Alright friends, I will wrap up our video now. Before that, I would love to hear your opinion about Shocker AI. Share your thoughts and results in the comments section below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful, and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorials like this one. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, happy creating!